My name is Avin Stamer, and I am a researcher and psychologist at the University of California Davis Mind Institute. Dr. Melanie Palacci and I recently had an opportunity to write an editorial for the journal Autism that gave us a chance to think about parent-implemented intervention for children with autism and their families. In this paper, we considered the benefits of parent coaching and parent-implemented intervention, as well as some of the challenges with this type of intervention, and then made some recommendations for how we think the field could move forward in this area. There's been a real recent focus on parent-implemented interventions for children with autism because some studies have found that teaching parents strategies to help teach their children social communication and social skills can improve skills in these areas and also improve some of the core symptoms of autism. Additionally, it helps children use these skills more flexibly in more environments. But some researchers have also suggested that parent-implemented intervention may be a cost-effective way of implementing intervention with children with autism and kind of making parents the main provider. While this can put parents in the role of therapist and might cause challenges for other issues related to the family, increasing stress and perhaps isolation. Additionally, a recent review by Dr. David Mandel and Allison Namias at the University of Pennsylvania found um, that there, many children may need more intensive intervention implemented by an experienced provider to ensure positive outcomes. When we look at parent-implemented interventions in other areas of children's mental health, we see a greater focus on decreasing disruptive behavior disorders and increasing family functioning. Um, services for children with autism might benefit from learning from other fields and in addition to teaching skill building, really in, in focusing more on functioning of the family as a whole, how the child fits into that family and reducing parental stress. Based on the literature, we would like to suggest that both parent-implemented intervention and clinician-implemented interventions are necessary to ensure the adequate outcomes for children with autism. There is a need to improve parent participation overall in intervention for this population, especially for families with limited resources. We need to develop interventions and methods of participation that work specifically for a child and family and improve both child development and family functioning. We would like to suggest that the overall questions when developing and testing parent-implemented interventions shift from how can we best maximize opportunities for intervention to how can we best support and improve family functioning. Of course, this would likely involve teaching parents how to facilitate social communication in their children and, and support their development, but the focus would also be on the family, which may improve the use of intervention over time. Working together with families is the key to moving forward in this area. Thank you.